थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू होंडा थैंक यू फॉर ब्रिंगिंग अ प्रॉपर एडवेंचर मोटरसाइकिल टू आर कंट्री अ प्रॉपर 300 सीसी एडवेंचर मोटरसाइकिल टू आर कंट्री दिस इफ यू हैवेंट रेड इट ऑलरेडी इज द एक्स आर ई 300 एंड जस्ट लुक एट इट इट लुक्स प्रॉपर्ली एडवेंचर रेडी प्रॉपर्ली ऑफ रोड एडवेंचर रेडी विद इट्स शॉर्ट बीक स्मॉल हेडलाइट पर्पसफुल लुकिंग हेडलाइट काउल सो दैट यू कैन अटैक द स्ट्रेल्स विद विगर Speaking of attacking those trails, Honda has plonked in over here a 291 cc single cylinder air oil cooled engine, not liquid cooled engine, which makes around 25 and a half PS and 27 Nm, and it's paired with a five-speed gearbox. But you know what? Since it's an adventure motorcycle meant to attack those trails, it should have dollops of low-end torque to make it easily go up those steep trails. Backing up the engine. is competent hardware so look at this 21 inch spoke wheel with metzeler purposeful tires in india it might not get metzelers but why not why not hope for it and then look at the long travel suspension moving on to the back over here this is an aluminum box section swing arm with a monoshock setup again 18 inch rear wheel uh, spoke wheels metzeler tires disc brakes it does get abs whether or not it gets switchable abs remains to be seen but look at this exhaust layout it's so high up that it can cross every river crossing that you'll find on your way to ladakh speaking of ladakh honda has also put in this small carrier system to mount your luggage on agreed it only has a payload capacity of 7 kilos but hey why not take it and try it out backing up the adventure claim further is its ridiculously high ground clearance now sure this will help you cross all the obstacles and but you might be wondering whether the seat height has gone up quite a bit now I am five feet ten inches, and I am tiptoeing a bit, so the seat height is definitely on the taller side. But since the seat is scooped out and it's slim in the mid section, most riders should find it favorable for riding in everyday riding situations. Speaking of which, this bike weighs just one kilo more than the Hero X Pulse 200, and you already know how light that bike is. So, this stance. This engine capacity, this performance, should be perfect for India, no? But sadly, this isn't coming to India. Honda might have brought it to Auto Expo 2023, but it is part of their flex fuel program. It's only here to showcase what the mighty Japanese manufacturer can do. So, sadly, this might not ever make it to Indian dealerships, and even if it does. You know what the price tag is going to be. So, like and share this video if you like to subscribe to Zig Wheels. And this remains a distant dream.